episode of the TechCast video podcast. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new all-in-one desktop PC from Sony called the LT2S. Okay, so let's talk about the specs of what the LT2S has. It features a Core 2 Duo processor running at 2.1 GHz, backed up by 2 GB of RAM, 800 MHz frontside bus speed, 500 GB hard drive, graphics provided by NVIDIA for the 8400M GT with 256 MB of dedicated RAM, You've also got two built-in TV tuners, one digital, one analog, a Blu-ray slot-loading disk drive on the side. You've got a built-in motion web camera featuring a 1 megapixel resolution, a 22-inch display with a 1680 by 1050 resolution and with the X black glossy display, so you get really true, rich and deep colours through that. Peripheral-wise, you get a wireless keyboard, so you've got this foldable um, wrist rest, Okay, and the keys themselves are based on laptop keys, but what you'll actually find is it's quite comfortable to type on even after a long period of time. Um, so that's wireless. You've also got the wireless mouse that comes with it as well. Not quite as comfortable to use, unfortunately, mainly down to the way it's shaped and styled, but uh, it does the job. And you also get the media center remote control as well, because obviously it's designed to go, say, in the living room or the bedroom, and uh, that will happily operate the Vista Home Premium Media Center software through this remote control. Now if we take a look at uh, DVD playback, so let's take a look at Band of Brothers, yeah, run that on full screen. So this is a normal DVD um, picture that you're seeing here, and you'll find that the colors are very rich and very deep, black levels are very accurate, and uh, the colors are just very vivid. Now in terms of audio quality, you've got a 2.1 speaker system, one uh, left and right stereo channels and there's a subwoofer on the back as well, so you actually get quite good sound quality when you're playing your movies or listening to music, which is quite good for an all-in-one desktop PC. So that's the display and the uh, audio quality. A lot of you may be familiar with Windows Media Center, but I'll just give you a quick run-through of what, how that operates on the... Uh, Sony Veo. So we load that up. And obviously you can load it up through the remote control as well by hitting the green sensor button there. So if we just go to um, music. So this is the latest version of Media Center running on Vista Home Premium. And obviously you can get that on uh, the Ultimate Edition as well. So the high resolution display really works well with this. So we just load up some tracks. You get a sense of the audio quality that you get from this uh, Sony LT2S. It's actually not bad. And there's decent volume from the speakers itself. I've been seeing things more clearly now, I'm so much more aware. It's all coming into focus like So with Vista Media Center, you can play slideshows whilst you're doing other things, such as. Uh, listening to your music and uh, looking at your photo slideshows. It's a really exceptional quality from the screen as well as the speakers, which are the key features of the LT2S. So that's Windows Media Center running on the Sony LT2S. Really exceptional quality and functionality from that. Having spent the last couple of weeks using the LT2S as my main desktop system, I found it's great for entertainment and multimedia functionality. It's a stylish system with substance. Everything you need is packed in straight there. Everything from its 22-inch X-Black display to its Blu-ray optical disk drive makes it ideal for watching high-definition movies as well, or even viewing your pictures. And it's also one of the very few systems on the market today that works well with Windows Vista. So if you're on the market today for a all-in-one desktop PC, then the Sony model is definitely worth a second look.